Hello everyone, thanks very much for joining me once again on Ready, Set, Test. And I'm continuing the series of videos that uh, I was planning on making about the Arcbird Mini AAT, an exciting little product. Uh, if you want to see the introduction of what it is and the buttons and the view and everything, yeah, you can refer to the first video about it, which is already online on my channel. Now, I want to do thorough testing on this because uh, I'm chosen to be one of the beta testers. But outside, the weather is really bad. It's blowing gales, and they are expecting a storm around here. So for the time being, I'm grounded. But that's not a bad thing, because uh, it gives me time to look into other important thing about this Mini AAT. Now, considering that this is a Mini AAT, it falls within that kind of a size portfolio, and the fact that it's got a 5.8 GHz receiver built in, and that it has an antenna already attached to it. Put that all together, it kind of crosses the border into a territory where a lot of people are going to think of mounting this to their viewing devices, to their viewing goggles, or to the viewing boxes, more like these ones, you know, the, the quantum. And the, these seem to be more of the rage these days because they're reasonably priced and uh, they're very versatile and a lot of people are buying them. So this would probably be one of the biggest options of attaching this to. So what are we talking today? We're talking mounting options today. Now, I just wanted to throw out some ideas out there to see how it works. When it comes to mounting options, I do understand that everybody is different. The sky is literally the limit when it comes to mounting options. Guys out there are going to go absolutely ingenious on this one, from billet aluminium up to 3D printing parts. I know a lot of varieties are going to happen, but I'm slightly more old school. I like to keep things simple. So I'm going to start with literally a piece of plywood. Now, this piece of plywood here is cut to match the back of this unit and it's been hot glued to the front of the goggles. I did put a couple of foam spaces in there to make sure that it is straight on the vertical plane and that's about that. And then what I would like to do ultimately is to take this and point it right here. Now while the plywood piece here can be permanent, not a problem. You can cut another piece of plywood to go on something else. This can be hot glued or glued any which way. That's not a problem at all. Although I would suggest hot glue because hot glue is one of those glues which holds very strong, but when time comes for you to take it off, if you need to take it off, it's very easy to do so with some methylated spirit. The more important part is how this attaches to this. Now this is where some would like it to be permanent, some would like it to be semi-permanent and some would like it to be not permanent at all. But remember, there are two Metal Gear servos at work in here. And these servos, when they spin around, they're going to exert torque. And torque means it has to, it, the reaction of it will work on the base. So if this is not attached strongly during your flight, while this thing is spinning around and working hard, this will just fall off. So it's very important for the solution here to be semi-permanent but strong at the same time. What are our options? Well, our options are my recommended option. These are called the picture hanging strips. I don't know what they are called where you're watching this video. In here they are, in the UK, they're sold under the name Command. You might have them wherever you are. They're not Velcro. They just basically bed into each other without making that excruciating screeching noise. These are very good. They're called picture hanging strips because people can hang paintings off walls with these things. Gives you an idea of how strong it is. And it's very, very non-permanent. To give you an example, I have used this already on my Futaba transmitter to attach my 433 MHz unit. If you can see, this is a piece of plywood and in between is four strips of that picture hanging thing and this unit has never fallen off. It's strong as anything, and whenever I want to remove it, I just pull it off and it's gone. So that's your first option. Also, recommended option. Second option, good old double-sided 3M tape or any other brand of your choice. This is a bit more permanent, but it's also stronger. It can always be detached, but every time you detach it, you'll have to probably apply a new one because it loses its... Uh, adhesion power. For the for the purpose of this test, just to just to see how it works, I'm going to use a little bit of the 3M tape on the back of this and then attach this 
to this. But before I do that, I would like to dress this up in its neoprene cover and tidy up the wires and then do the final bit of attaching this with this to this. So hang around while I do that and I will come back. So I have just dressed this up and I will put it right here in front of you. As it turns out, 3M double sided tape and wood do not go along very well. But this is just an example to, to show you how it could look like. Now you see right on the front, there's our transmitter on. I'm going to try to try it to go into tracking mode. Press the button. If it doesn't fall off because the 3M tape is not very good on wood, the picture hanging strips would do a much nicer job. But as I said, I'm just trying to give you an example in here. And as you can see, it fell off because the 3M tape doesn't do very well on wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a picture hanging strip and come back. Now a quick tip, before installing your picture hanging strip, which we have just cut in here, it's always a good idea to put a little bit of contact cement on the wood itself. This will make sure that the strips hang on to it very tight and will actually put up with all the torque. Be back in a second. So now we have a picture hanging strip here and one in here and we will join these together. Just watch your pressure as to how much pressure you want to put into it. Tacked in. Hopefully this will hold out much better than the double-sided 3M tape which didn't want to work with the wood. Now my FX61 is already on so I'm going to make the connections real quickly. There's a video and here's the power. take the power through here. One thing I uh, have noticed is this wire that comes with it, you might want to extend this a little bit. You might want to extend this wire a little bit because it might not reach a battery at all times. And we already have power to the monitor, so let's see what's happening in here. The antenna has woken up. I'm going to put it in offline mode for the time being. Look into the monitor. It's showing the internal view. And now it's uh, covered by a red sheet, that's why it looks red, obviously. But the antenna is working, that's important. And now we're going to put antenna in tracking mode. I'm going to pick this up. The idea here is to look how much it can put up with the torque without separating from it. And as you can see, the picture hanging strips seem to be doing a great job. How about that? Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is a bit of a world first. Probably the first time somebody's put an antenna tracker on a viewing device and I can't help but to feel like I need to wear this because I want to see if I can feel the sensations through my head. So I'm going to take this into offline mode, put the camera out to the side, try to wear this and somehow probably film myself doing it. It'll be comical, but let's give it a try. So on the, the risk of making a completely <laughs> complete clown out of myself, I'm going to wear this and then I'm going to put it into the online mode and see what happens. Okay, right. Okay, the goggles are comfortable. Uh, I don't see a lot of weight up front. I can't feel it anyway. I'm going to press the button to turn it offline. Uh, sorry, turn it online. Oh wow, okay. Right, I can feel a little bit of the vibration on my head, but it's actually not as bad as I thought. It's actually quite good. And it's tracking. 
it's a little bit heavy up front, but if I change the battery from here to the back, I think that will solve the problem out. Right, let's put the antenna offline and take it off. Right, there you go. My first mounting options, and this is on a quantum DIY goggle using picture hanging strips and a plywood uh, piece of plywood. Now, pay good attention to how you stick this to this because the torque will mean that eventually it will want to come apart. And if this is the only thing that you fly with, then I suggest hot gluing it to it. That'll be the best option. But what you witness in here probably is a world first. Never ever has an antenna tracker been mounted on a viewing device. And here it is. And on a great part, thanks to Artbird for this little product in here. It's small and versatile enough to actually be pinned in front of it. Now my next sort of mission would be to see if I can actually mount this to my Skyzone goggles, which are a much smaller real estate. But I think they can be done. So stay tuned for that. While the weather is bad out there, I'm going to be doing some, some, some brainstorming and coming up with some wacky ideas of how to do that. And if you are flying with a gadget like this, standing outside in a park, I mean, you're going to look badass and you're going to look like a, like a cyborg with this thing spinning around in front of you. But how cool is this? Your own mini antenna tracker planted right at the front of your own viewing devices. No tripod, no silly mess, no wires, nothing. Pull this thing out, stand wherever you want, and you're tracking. That's a, that's, a, that's a great, great piece of work. I mean, the mounting part needs more attention, but once you're done with it, this would be a game changer, as I said before. Now, thanks very much for being with me on this uh, video, and uh, I hope I provided some comedy as much as I provided some tips regarding this thing. I'll catch you in the next video, probably again about this product here. Now, thank you very much, and take care.